Right, it's Mr. Palmer here. Third video of three on uh, reverse Polish and Invix uh, notation. Third time lucky on this one, on number three. Hopefully, I do it without making a silly mistake on my slide. Uh, get a bit tired now. Here we go. So, make sure you've gone over your notes on all the precedence, infix, and postfix, so you know what they are. And you also can do your conversions using a stack, okay, between the two. So this is the final video, basically talking about using a tree to evaluate the expression, right? Um, just to remind you why we use reverse Polish notation, the order of operations is quite is simply and in, in exactly specified. Okay, there's no parentheses to basically explain uh, what bit of the calculation needs to be carried out first. So this basically means that it's very easy for a CPU to execute because it can use a stack to just pop. Um, operands and apply operators to them okay so um, just to remind yourself quickly this is what infix looks like with the operator in between the operands prefix it comes before and postfix comes afterwards okay now how would you use a tree to evaluate an expression right uh, you can use a tree to convert from reverse polish and to infix and back again as well all right so I'm going to talk about three ways to actually traverse a tree here. Okay, the first one is called pre-order. When you go root, you go left, you go right. Okay, so here I am. Uh, let me get a little marker up so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go root, so I output F. Then I go left, so I output. I've got now I've got a little subtree over here. Okay, then I output B. On this little subtree, I go left A. Then I output this subtree D. This is the root of another little subtree, so I can go left. And then I go right. Okay, nothing left over here. So I go down to the other side of the tree and I go root. There's no left, but I can go right and then I can go left. Okay, so what that would look like if you follow the dotted line around the outside of my tree, every time it hits a dot, that's the node that you output. This is called pre order F B A D C E. And then it goes up and down the other side G I H. You can see it's in like order of which the nodes were added to a tree almost okay now this is called in order all right you go left as far as you can down a ter to a terminal node so i hit my tree i'm at my root node and i go down 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 until i get to a right I've done a then i go root so of this little subtree b is the root so i output that then i can go right so i go to d okay but there's a left so i go left oops a daisy I go left instead and I'll put C, then I go root D, and then I go down to my right E. Now there's nothing left over here. I can't, there's root root, so I come up to here. I need to output root. Then I go down to the right. And there's nothing to the left, so I can output that. Then I go down to, uh, to the right node, and there is something to the left, so I need to follow those pointers. I output that, and then I can output the right the root of that little subtree. Okay. If you want to see what that looks like, if you follow the dotted line around, you can see I went left all the way down to A, then I output root B, then I went right, but hang on a minute, there was there was another left, so I followed the pointer down, C, root D, then I went right, E, then all the way back up to the top, output root F, now it's time to go right, so I go G, and then I go right again, because there isn't a left, so I go to I, but... At I, there is a left. So I follow the left pointers down. So I can output H, then I go root I. Okay. If you follow the dotted line around, you can see that little traversal of the tree. Okay. Everywhere the, the dot touches the dashed line. So this is post order. Okay. I go left, I go right, I go root. Okay. So here I am, and I go left, down. Okay. A, I go right, but there's a tree over here in this little subtree, so that means I'm going to go left, I go right, I go root, okay, then I can do the root of this subtree, okay, and then I go down to the right again, because I've just done the left, so I go right, and there's no left, so I can go, sorry, hang on a minute, that's wrong, G still stays here, okay, I go right, yeah, but I can still go down. So I follow it down and I'm going to go left. There's no right. So I go root. 
and then I can do this root G and then I can do my final root F. So if you want to see what that looks like, something like this, if you follow the, the dashed line around, you can see every time it intersects the dot, I went A, all right, then I went, I went right, but there was somewhere to follow, so I went C, and then I did the right of that little subtree E, then I go back up to D, and then I do the, the root of that subtree B, and then I do the, I go around to the right, okay, but when I go right, there's still stuff down below, so I keep following that pointer down right, and I follow it down to the left, and I do H, I do the root of that subtree I, and then I do the root of that subtree G, and then I finally do F at the top, okay? Now, you look, if you're looking at me, I'm thinking Mr. Palmer's is reading out a bunch of numbers. doesn't make sense, okay? Between uh, pre, in, uh, post order, right? Well, you can cheat. If you look at these three uh, paths and you compare them, they've all got the same dotted line. That, sorry, the, the, let's say the same dashed line. But look at those black dots. With pre order, they're all on the left hand side. With in order, they're at the bottom of the node. And with post order, they're on the right hand side. So you can cheat, because with pre-order it's going to go F, B, A, C, sorry, F, B, A, D, C, E, and then round G, I, H. You can see, all right, everywhere it's intersecting with the black dot, it tells you the order that the tree is going to output. Okay, you can work it out yourself for in and post order, all right, just draw the dot in the correct place on the um, tree and it will help you to work out the output order you're going to ask me now what has this got to do with expressions well if i got an expression written in a tree like this if i decide to traverse it using in order i'll get this which is an infix expression and if i traverse it using post order i'll get this so that should be a small x which is the uh, reverse Polish notation. So you can use uh, a tree, okay, to build infix or postfix expressions. Uh, you should see here now another way that an expression can be built using during the translation process, okay. Um, you can now practice the next one, which is a bit more complicated by yourself. I suggest you press pause, have a go. And if you didn't cheat, you should have hopefully come up with infix, looking a bit like this, or postfix, looking like that. All right? So um, there we go. You should be able to use a tree to evaluate an expression by traversing it either in in order or post order. And obviously, if you wanted to build a prefix expression for I don't know what reason, you would obviously use pre order to, to build that expression. All right. Thank you very much. And that's the end of it.